Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see. Good morning from the Florida Keys. Whew, could get used to that. We're waking up, walking outside, right down to the beach to do some fishing. Doesn't get better than this. While the ladies are uh, finishing up their morning sleep, I'm gonna head down and do a little bit of fun fishing, getting some bait. I did bring the underwater camera, so we're gonna head right down here. We're gonna check on the chum ball. Um, I did bring the underwater camera, as I said, so hello. We're gonna go down here and stick the water, or stick the camera in the water. Look at this place. Can't be waking up to this. Wake up, walk down, get to fishing. Pretty excited to see how this chum bag worked overnight. Um, it should attract a lot of the fish under the dock, so see if uh, we got a whole pile of fish sitting there waiting for us to catch. Pretty tough to catch them at night, so we tried to catch them during the day. Um, last night, if you guys watched the last episode, we struggled that night. We had two giants, and we went over two. Today, different story, new video, different day. Today should be all right. Today should be pretty fun, so. Without further ado, here's the chum bag right here on the end of the dock. Let's get the underwater camera down and see what kind of fish are down there. Alrighty, safe to say there was quite a bit of fish under there. That chum bag worked pretty good. So we're gonna see if we can't catch a couple of these real quick. And then we are gonna get our big rods out to mess around before we go do some lunch, see if we can't get a big one. That's what I like about out here in the ocean. You never know what you're gonna get. Lots of times you can throw rods out, not get anything, but it just takes one time with the big rod to start going for a nice, pretty cool gnarly big fish so and there's just so many different species of fish in here uh, lots of sharks and stuff if you guys haven't watched the previous video there's a bunch of sharks scotty boy caught a goliath grouper off this dock big stingrays there's mahi there's about everything so that's the fun in kind of casting the line out and not knowing what to expect but first we're gonna get some bait hopefully we can get some of those grunts that were down there there was a couple big fish down there too yesterday i caught two barracudas off the dock right here so Let's see, I'm trying to use this pole as camouflage so they can't see me. Lots of times you have about one or two catches and then they catch on to you. With all those fish down there and you drop a piece of shrimp, they're actually fairly smart, so. Hmm, being stubborn today. Shake this, get some chum out. All the little fish are there. That'll kind of distract them so they don't pay attention to me. Hopefully we can catch one of these boogers. Got him. And that is a grunt. We can use this as bait. Not super big, but it'll work for two pieces. We're gonna see if we can get a big fish on the big rods before the ladies even wake up. Don't have much hope in catching something super massive while the sun's out, but once it gets dark back in here in the bays, it gets pretty going. All right, that one in gear. Oh, and if you guys didn't pay attention to the last video or you didn't see it, these are the nice nifty dock holders. You just push like that just push it in between the wooden boards on the dock and then turn it and it locks into place you can swivel it however which way you want pretty nifty so you see 150 fish down below your dock and you can't catch one with a piece of shrimp sometimes you just scratch your head <laughs> oh this is a mangrove snapper they gotta be 10 inches i believe to keep so it's gonna be short by about an inch and a half i would assume Got that one. Whoa. That we can use, and that's a bigger one. Doing a little croaking. Even got a little bit of teeth and some ruby red mouth. These work great as bait. All right, buddy. There you go. Howdy, Sasha. Good morning. Good morning. That guy right there is snorkeling. He said there's fish everywhere. He saw a little barracuda. Like a good dog. I know just talking to this guy. Do you ever fish 
fish off the dock there? What's that? You ever fish off the dock there? No, my first no. time staying there. Oh, really? Yeah. You oh, so, it, no, no, oh. we're just visiting. Okay. I was like, I thought about getting this and going to check it out, but I was like, huh. It's good. So you guys are just staying? We're staying in that little, there's a pink house right around the corner here. Oh, okay, you know, I thought you guys owned it. No, 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 <laughs> we just came for a couple days, but we're gonna come back often. Yeah. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, this is it's great. Yeah. I kayak with the thing, and I was like, oh, I thought it was a headlamp. I said, he no, must be no. going for a, a late trip. No, no. Headlamp to bring back, and I was like, I bet you that's a GoPro. Yeah. When you came back. Yeah, yep. that's freaking cool. Watch I'm from Nebraska. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have the ocean. Dive down, you won't suck in any water. And I tell you, yeah, oh. there's just a bunch of, bunch of little shit, but you know, it's fish. Huh. So cruise around, yeah. see what you think. Yeah. I, awesome. I appreciate I'm it. I'm BJ. BJ. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too, bro. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna light up a stove and chill out. So. There you go. Have I appreciate time. it. All right, BJ. Nice gentleman. Let me use this scuba stuff. Scuba Steve, ready for action. <laughs> All right, back on land. That was pretty crazy. There are so many fish under this dock. I think I saw five or six barracudas. Good morning, Nat. How'd you sleep? Good? Well, do you snore again? <laughs> I did swim out and check the baits, see how they're sitting on the bottom. I am gonna make some modifications for tonight and I think we're gonna be in the money. One big fish is calling our name, I think. Get him. Going flying. Whoa. Oh, that's a mangrove snapper. He's not quite 10 inches. He freaking hammered that. I know. That's where we go. Shoot. God, he might be close to 10. I would say nine. Just little pieces of bait shrimp. That didn't take too long. Oh. <laughs> you take the bait. That dude hammered it. Oh, he broke it off. Oh, that was barracuda. Oh. He broke it clean off. Holy Is that a keeper? Yep, we can keep that one. Perfect. It's one of those cool looking ones, kind of uh -huh. bright yellow. Time for lunch. Got enough bait for tonight. Probably caught about five. Yeah, you got a bunch of weeds. Hell yeah. Yep, something took the bait. We'll try again tonight. We're gonna hit up Robbie's to feed some giant giant tarpon. Uh, I think there's nurse sharks, stingrays, uh, a bunch of other different types of fish there. We're also gonna get some lunch. Daniel, back at it again with the white beans. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're even gonna ride with our friends we met from Germany. All right, all right. Y'all ready yet? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, it is. What'd you say the fastest you went is? 210? Yep. Uh, no, you know? on the Autobahn. Oh uh, yeah, 210 miles, yeah. 210 miles an hour? And this car is limited to, to... 110. 110? Yeah, it's limited. Do you try it out? Up on that motorcycle, Sash. Let's try. 
food first, then we're gonna go check out the yep. fish. <laughs> that looks good. This is mine or what is it? That's mine. Oh, you don't get to eat. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Pretty tough to be good food. Right on the ocean side with big tarpon. All right, racked up a $400 tab somehow. That's uh, tourist prices. Now we're gonna go feed the fish. Now you ready to get swallowed by a tarpon? <laughs> oh, these tarpon are big. Ooh. <laughs> oh my! That's <laughs> pretty nuts. Oh, that's a giant one. That's a big one. Don't drop it. Let him take it out. Oh! I'll do it. Now we hold this. <laughs> Did he take it? Uh, you have also fans. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no, he's thinking about it. Do it. Do it. Oh, 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 big boy. Oh, that was a big one. Howdy. All right, ready, Sash? Are you going to let him take it out of your hand? <laughs> this is pretty nuts. <laughs> no. <laughs> you are not our friend today. Alright, ready? That actually took a while for them to get it. These are some big critters. Look at that one. That one's big. All right, give us the last one. Oh. You can see their eyes like staring up at you, like peeking, and then it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go. Flings it out. <laughs> oh, that was funny. You did good. You did good. You did good. <laughs> this place is crazy cool. Hand feed the tarpon. You gotta watch out. The pelican almost took my phone out of my hand. It's massive. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's a giant one. He made this one look small. Got all the little tarpon over here. They kind of get outcasted from all the giant ones over there getting fed. Oh no, this place is pretty, pretty crazy. Robbie's Bar and Grill or something like that. You can just come, hand feed the tarpon. You can buy a bucket of bait for four bucks. It's a pretty cool ordeal. I used to think drinking was bad for me, so I gave up thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Even got a little souvenir there. It's a huge kind of like event center uh, with a bunch of, what are we doing here? All right, let's see who can get it first. We each get three. Right 
Oh. Ah! But like I was saying, Robbie's down here on the beach is definitely a cool place. <laughs> they also have coconut bras. And uh, lots of people were fishing right outside of it. I don't know if you have to be like a member or a guide out of here to fish outside of it, but the tarpon are definitely running through there. So uh, it might not be a bad place to fish, but we're gonna go back to the old uh, resort, have some beers, have some drinks on the dock into the night, hopefully some big fish. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Feeling frosty? All right, got back from going out to eat. That place was awesome. We even took some naps and stuff. Now we're wide awake, ready to catch some fish. We already took the stuff down there. Sasha's down there. Nat's finishing her movie. I forgot my frosty. So we're going to go down there. I'll show you guys what I did. Changed it up a little bit uh, to try to up our odds and get in a big in tonight. So. And this is what we did to switch her up. I put two light up demon dragons on the end, connected them to each other with the steel leader, a big old hook. And then we have our weight way up here because there's a lot of moss on the ground. So I figured the weight would stay down and then this would float above it lighting up and there's about a foot of moss. So this will go bend back because this is gonna float up and then this is gonna go down. So we should be about six inches above the moss on the moss this floating up and then this holding down like this so hopefully that is right in their buffet zone and we can whip up a big one i did the same thing on the other one and i might even try taking the weight completely off and just whipping it out there with the bait just sitting on top of the seaweed itself down here but we're gonna try this first on both of them oh yeah doing good all right we got our big bait fish Get a head and a tail, and give her the whip out there. It's not very far, but we're gonna go with it. Try that, see if anything's swimming up shallow. As it gets later, it should get better and better. Just gonna drag a little bit. All right, and we can run over to her and give her the hammer. So if you didn't watch on last night's video, we kept the bales open and they were feeling the tension of the weight, which I thought they might, but I was hoping they'd already be hooked. So we're closing the bale today. Let's see what happens, kind of adjust and adapt and hopefully we get a big one. All right, kick her into gear. Loosen the drag a little bit. We're fishing. Got him. He's gonna get wrapped around that pillar. <laughs> He's right here already. It's not super big. What is it? I don't know. It's a shark. It's a nurse shark, I think. Yeah. Woohoo, baby. Oh, no, nah, no, no, no. Not under the dog. No. All right. We were just looking at pictures from the tarpon. I think that's a nurse shark. I can't see very well. Oh, no, it's a bull shark or a black tip shark. That's not even a nurse shark. These ones will snap at you for sure. Oh, yeah, don't go under the dock. All right, so I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to hand this to you around the pillar, Sash. All right, ready? Ready? Got it? Okay, swing him right. <laughs> He's feisty. Yeah, we gotta do it again. We can't let him get in these pylons because they have the barnacles on them. Got it? Yep. All right, perfect. Now we can walk him down. <laughs> walk my fish. Yeah, I'm walking my fish. He's not even a super big one. No, but they sure have some. Yeah, they got some, all these saltwater fish freaking fight. I wish I would have clicked the camera on, I look up and the rod's just bending over, but the clicker wasn't going. I was like, oh my gosh, those rod holders. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's freaking sweet. That's a shark. <laughs> that's a shark. I thought it was a nurse shark at first. I'm not a saltwater expert and I can't really tell. It's either a black tip or a baby bull shark. 
He's decent size though. He's yeah. still small for what we can catch, but. He's cool looking though. Yeah, he is. He you hammered that. See my legs, they were like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe it is a black tub. Look at his tail. Does he have black on the tip? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try to get the hook out without him getting me first. Well, our new method worked. All right, let's drag him up this puppy. Let's see, what kind of teeth you got, big guy? Oh yeah, he's got some serious teeth. Probably about 20 pounds. Whoa, 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 whoa. But, honestly, we got our shark tonight. You guys wanna to touch his tail? Feels like sandpaper. Huh, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this puppy back swimming. All righty. That's super cool. They come up shallow to feed, right under the dock he goes. That was gnarly. All right, ladies, one on the board. Sash, you want the next one? Yeah, I wanted that one. <laughs> it all happened so fast. We were looking at the tarpon pictures on the other phone, and all of a sudden just zzzz. Alrighty, made it back to the house. Sasha, what do you think of the shark? It was pretty cool. <laughs> mission success for the night. Um, let me step out here, she's watching a movie. But yeah, mission success for the night. Um, we didn't get a real, real big one, but that's a good starting level for today. And the new rigs worked. So had a good time feeding the tarpon. You guys are down here in the Florida Keys. Uh, we're staying in Key Largo, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Go to Robbie's, you can feed the tarpon. They did have some manatees. Didn't get any of them on film, but we did see a couple and watch out for the pelicans. But yeah, all in all, pretty successful day too. We did get mission success on catching a big fish off the big rods, off the dock. Could have been a little bit bigger, so that's gonna be for tomorrow's video. Just kinda exploring every day and waking up, not having a plan, just doing whatever you do, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace. Peace.